So, Adrian, what an interesting story, right? Well, I'm curious, what are some of your takeaways? Well, first off, yeah, let's, let's you know, kind of recounting Nathan's story. Um, how many times have we heard this? Somebody trying to do everything, right? Taking on just too much and accepting too much, trying to, you know, get above and beyond or whatever you want to call it. And then what, what it leads to, it leads to a panic attack. And so, you know, what do we tell the people we coach is that you can only do as much as you can. You can only run as fast as you can run. You have, you have strength to how many people, you know, burn themselves out. Are you going? Can you hear me? You froze on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I finished my thought, so I think it'll catch it. So, so you okay. add to that. Did you hear all that or not? <laughs> not much, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I just talked about getting burned out. Yeah. 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 So it, it is interesting too, where there are those moments, right? where you just go, look, I can't have it all. I can't do everything. I've, I've got to set my priorities. And he talks about, you know, your vision is so important. What is it that you really want? Are you going to follow that vision? And are you going to stick to it? Or do you get caught up, you know, with all the hype of the day and the hype of the job, you know, Lehman Brothers and the big money and the prestige mm -hmm. and all that. And then it all comes crashing down, right? And that's, that's what we've really got to be aware of. What do you really want in life? What is your vision? And get that straight. Yeah. And go after it. Yeah. Well said, as he said, a clear why can overcome any how. Right. Uh, and what he talked about, too, was the stress that comes from a lack of purpose. You know, we see that as we coach people. It's, a, it's amazing how many people get ahead of, and, and even rise to executive levels and they really don't know what their purpose is other than just to sort of get through the day. One of the other things I thought was really interesting, he talked about, you know, there are times where you intentionally underperform. That not everything has to be perfect. You know, the, as I was saying, the old mentality of the job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Well, no, it's worth doing okay sometimes. You focus on what your priorities are, right? Yeah, you know, it reminded me of the old uh, report card, you know, where you say, hey, I've got uh, seven classes and I got six A's and one C plus. And what do we focus on? The yeah. C plus, <laughs> right? <Exactly. laughs> yeah. And, uh, and yeah, look, Sometimes they aren't your strengths and sometimes you just don't have time. And sometimes, and we've said this many times, sometimes good is good enough. Don't beat yourself up about it. This perfectionism that we talk so much about that causes so much anxiety at work, right? Can really drive you to, to, to I was going to say drive you to drink, but that's not <laughs> um, Drive you crazy and drive you to that point where you do burn out. And it was uh, so good of him to finally step back yeah. and say, look, I'm going to recalibrate. What's really important to me? And I'm going to go after that. And the last thing for me, too, I love that you talked about this idea of character creation, that we have different personas and that's OK. Don't you don't have to fight it. And it's not like you're, you know, a master criminal where at one place and then, you know, a nice person elsewhere. No, he's saying, look, we have these personas. We may be this machine at work. We may be a, a loving partner. We may be, a, you know, a unicorn CEO, as he said that it's okay for us to, to put on these different personas that don't feel like you're not being your unique self if you are. Because sometimes we do hear from leaders who say, these young people coming in, they want to they wanna share too much. And there's such a thing as being professional. Right. You know? Yeah. It's okay to have to put on a work hat sometimes. Well, and it's interesting too, because we, we do say often, look, you know, it's really important to be the same person everywhere you go. Yeah. And I think that is true when it comes to your core values. Yeah. But there are those times when you say, today, I need to be Superman. Yeah. You know, today, I need to take a nap. <laughs> you know, exactly. you, can, you can be different personas. Today, I need to be extra kind and sensitive. And today, I need to be a bit of a taskmaster. You know, your core values and everything, yes, those should be the same everywhere. Yes. But we do have different personalities. And, and in a way, we psych ourselves up for that, too, right? I was thinking, thinking um, you know, in sports, when I was, played a lot of sports as a kid, there would be days when I'd say, hey, come on. You know, this is the moment where you really shine. Uh, I'll never forget, I was in a uh, company tennis tournament. It was so silly. Like, like, you know, you get the little plexiglass trophy. But I remember telling myself, you always play better when you've got a cold. You know, yeah. I was what, channeling my inner Michael Jordan. You always play better when you've got a cold. And so you do. You, you take those different personas. You have to be different people in different places. You know, and for you, like on the weekend and for you on the weekend where you cosplay, you know, some weeks you're the Mandalorian. Other, that week when you were bat, 
you know, Batgirl or Bat, you know, that was a little I, weird. But, I yeah, was he, Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That was Robin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know who's the guy that never lets us down, though? I, and I think you know who I'm talking about. Our, our world-class producer, Brent Klein. Are we grateful for him or what, hey? We really are. And to Christy Lawrence, who helps us find amazing guests. To all of you who listen in, if you like the podcast, please share it. We'd love you also to visit thecultureworks.com. There's some free resources there, including uh, some information on our new training about anxiety at work, which is very exciting. Uh, so, yeah, go there, learn how you and your team can thrive. Excellent. We love to speak. We invite us to speak virtually or in person. We travel all around the world to do that. And please uh, give us a call. We'd love to speak at your event. And don't forget to buy the book. We also have wonderful online training for anxiety at work. Visit thecultureworks.com to find out more about that. As always, Adrian, I'd like to give you the last word. Well, thanks everybody again for joining us. Until next time, we wish you the best of mental health. You know, this is really weird. 